<clears throat> what is that? Oh, great. Good morning. I am so tired. Okay. Let's get up. Okay, let's do something about this. I feel like I just broke the chair. Did you hear that? Ooh. Not today here, not today. Hippie for life. This is my first YouTube video, I guess. I wanted to start a YouTube channel for about five years now and just kept putting it off because it's just something that's so new and scary to me. I don't want to be like, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are speaking about. I left the name of my channel so open because there's not one thing in particular that I do. I do like small bits of lots of things. Like, for example, I'm so passionate about makeup, creative makeup, everyday wear makeup. Because I love makeup so much. Also, wellness and health. I love travel, vlogs, living the whole more eco conscious lifestyle and sustainable lifestyle. Help the planet, you know? I'm not just a one trick pony. I'm gonna be the happiest girl in the world. Pretty much. <laughs> So good. Welcome. It's so scary and I'm scared. We're just going to wing it. We're just going to wing it. I'm good at winging it. I'm going to finish my tea. So well, basically here we are. We have a YouTube channel. What? I'm scared. In my hair. My... So we are off for lunch. Heading to Thrive. I used to work in Drive, it's been my favorite part-time job. So what I'm going to do is, because it's my first day on YouTube, I put up a little questions box on my Instagram and I'm just gonna answer a couple of like get to know me questions on here, which I think might be helpful because some of you might not have a fucking clue who I am. I'm gonna pop on my blue light glasses. I wear these, I don't know why I wear them when I'm driving to be honest with you. I normally just wear them when I'm on my laptop or I'm on my phone a lot during the day, just because I suffer with horrific migraines and i went to get my eyes tested and they were like no your vision's perfect so i've been trying these and i've been taking a magnesium supplement and no migraines since here's my brother brother they're really funky people kind of laugh at me for wearing them because i look like deirdre barlow but i like them i don't know where the best place to have you so that you can actually see me oh, maybe oh no well that's clearly not working okay so we're all parked up and there's cars literally zipping past me so i'm just like please don't laugh at me <laughs> okay so i'm just back from having lunch and it was delicious it's always divine and drive i have to say and i have a couple of questions here so you let us just dive straight in do you feel any pressure to find a partner um uh, i have a partner the last almost three years danny mac um are you and laura full sisters you look nothing in capital letters alike i'm pretty sure i'm pretty i'm pretty sure we're full sisters I get it though, like, I don't particularly think we look much alike. Sometimes I might see a photo of the two of us together and I can see some resemblances in like more so facial features, like our mouth or lower, the lower half of our face, but nothing major. And people are so divided on this, either think we are so alike or not a thing alike. What's the daytime foundation or tinted moisturizer you can't live without? And hands down the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I use shade 4. It's just so nice. Just, It's really, really nice. Definitely will be purchasing that again and again and again, I can tell. What were you like in school? Did you like school? It's actually so funny. Myself and Laura, we were only looking back over our baby books last night. And I came across my old like school report, the primary school ones. And I was appalled. appalled. I would have thought I was really good in primary school. I got a lot of fairs. And fear was like the lowest grading back then. I got fears constantly for concepts and for problem solving. What? But no, I like to go into college. I'm just, I love college. I don't want it to end. I really don't want it to end. I think learning is so important. Education is so important. Biggest fear, the dark. I am petrified of the dark. I've always been petrified of the dark. And yes, I sleep with a nightlight. I'm not afraid to say it. Have you ever had any facial aesthetics done? No, and this actually I think has come up a bit. Well, like I've had braces and I've had my eyebrows done recently, microbladed. I haven't had fillers or Botox or anything like that. Favorite book, favorite book. I'm not the biggest reader. Any like mindfulness book. Yeah, I just love chilling in my room or chilling in the bath. 
and reading some mind mindfulness. I love it. Love it. Is your day job an MUA? No, 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 I'm not a makeup artist at all. I can just do my own makeup I and mean, that's questionable some days. What superhero power would you want and why? I would love to fly. Sometimes I just find myself like looking up at the birds and it'd be so nice. Favourite Disney character? Ooh, I was obsessed with the Swan Princess and is it Esmeralda from The Hunchback in Notre Dame. She was just a babe. I just always remember her being so beautiful and loved her. What made you decide to be a nurse? My mum's a nurse, you see. And it's one of these things where she would have always said, oh, Hilary, would you not consider being a nurse when you finish school? And I suppose I was at that age where I was like, you're telling me to do something, therefore I am not going to do that and I'm actually probably going to do the opposite. And I went and I moved to Lanzarote for like, I only spent about four months there and I worked in a nightclub. But all of the time, couldn't do it now. But yeah, that's what I did. And then I came back and then I arsed around and got a couple of part-time jobs here or there. Then I moved to Australia and spent almost a year in Australia. And literally woke up one morning, rang mom and said, oh, I'm going to try that nursing thing. And here we are. Fillers, Botox. No, no. And hair care routine, I'm definitely gonna do a video solely on that because I'm obsessed. Some of you, if you've come over from my Instagram, you will know my hair care routine now. There's not a whole lot to it, but it works for me and I love it. What are you studying with? Mental health nursing. Have you got injectables? Do you smoke weed? No. I have tried it maybe two or three times before. Wouldn't be trying it again, basically. Do you think you and your boyfriend will live together before marriage? Oh, I 100% hope so. I don't think we'll be getting married anytime soon. I keep hinting at Danny, but... There's no ring on my finger. But yeah, we would love, we were actually talking about hopefully moving in together this year. But then I'm just trying to decide what I want to do when I'm finished college. If we're going to travel, if we're not, I don't know. So we, I suppose we just need to save some money first, you know. Do you ever have days you don't like being a student nurse and wish you chose differently? No. To be fair, I have not once regretted my decision to become a nurse. But I can tell you now... If I had gone on to do nursing immediately after my leaving cert, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have been able for it. I wouldn't have. Are you religious? No. Who's your biggest inspiration on social media? Keep anonymous, please. My biggest inspiration, and I know I'm a bit biased, but my sister, Laura. And I think many people will agree with me here. If you follow Laura's views on any social media, you will know she is the most real, straight-talking gal you will come across. And I think that's why she's so likeable online. Because she's just straight-talking. She says exactly what she feels. She says things exactly how they are. Oh, there's no shit-talking with her. I love your content. Thank you. Holiday plans. We are hoping to get away somewhere. I have another two weeks off in August. So I can only hope that everything settles down with the coronavirus. But we haven't booked anything yet. We're just waiting to hear waiting to see what happens really. What do you think you will do when you finish up your internship? Oh, I couldn't, I can't, I don't even know. Like one day I'm like, I'm leaving the country, I'm out here, definitely want to travel with my nursing. And then I'm like, oh no, I like it here. And then the next day I'm like, no, I tell you, I'll stay in Ireland, but I'll move to Galway or somewhere. I, I don't know my mind a minute, so I can't even answer that question. Hopefully you feel like you know me a bit better. Please, oh my God, I can say this now. Please subscribe to my channel. Give the thumbs up if you like this video. So what else did I say? Any video suggestions for me that you would like to see in particular, please do leave them in the comment box down below. I want to hear what you want to see. You know, you know. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Mwah. Bye.